bunch of these guys. And a couple of these guys. How do I get these all in? I got like, too many things for my two little cameras. My little camera. And maybe we'll just do the one more. Maybe I'll think I'll open it. Oh, we have enough stuff to open tonight, that's for sure. All right. Let's see if this list of stuff I got here is going to work out. Seems okay. It's a little... Oops. It's a little low. But it's not bad. What should we open first? Well, I know I want to open up an Elite Trainer box. I'm not sure if I want to do one of these tins. Take a drink of water here. Think about that. If you're on YouTube, go ahead and skip forward. I'm just waiting. I see people will trickle in here. <clears throat> kind of a big opening night. I'm super excited. I sure would like to share it live with somebody, but that's not a big deal either way. I guess I think I'll start with I'll start with the tin since that's what I'm 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 not as much looking forward to. Uh or should I do that? I guess I do want to see what's in a tin. I do want to see what's in a tin. Curiosity get the best of me on this one. Um, so there's, as far as the tins go, I'll move these late trainer boxes to the side for now. As far as tins go, I've got this one with Bolton. Uh, another with a Cramorant V. Uh, these guys are all shinies, uh, by the way. And then Elagos, or uh, Eldegos V. Of the three of those, I'm not sure which one I would want to open. I'm assuming that as far as like resale value, uh, the, the Bolton and the El Eldegos are probably more so than the, the Cramorant. You know what, I, I would rather open the Bolton, if I'm being honest. So I'll put these two tins aside. I may or may not open those. Those might get, those might get secondarily sold, I'm not sure. It all really depends on what I'm able to get my hands on. It looks like I have a lot here, but this only lasts for so long. <laughs> uh, as I'm sure if you guys have collections of stuff, you know. So I'll do this guy and Three of these bad boys. Let's see here, which one feels good to me? Which one feels good? Alright, I think it's the middle one. Plays light to a side. We'll do this guy after we do this guy. All right. Let me go ahead and open up one of these dudes. Get my top loader ready. Got my uh, penny sleeves ready. Just didn't have one of these open. I wanted to make sure had a fresh pack for today because I'm probably going to be getting into a couple of good cards I want to get sleeved. There's a, I think there's a promo in the Elite Trainer box, but there's this guy right there. So with that in mind, let's try to be a little fastidious here. There's a... Uh, little perforation there on the side so I'll just show you guys as I take that off and I ruin it completely 
Oh man, it's not perforated super well. Maybe I'll try from the other side. Oh no, it didn't. It's not working super good. So I'm just gonna, gonna manhandle that. comes in these tins is one of these bad boys right here and it looks like five packs if I'm not mistaken no six packs okay so before I get into those six packs here I'll put those right here so prominently in front of the camera while I fish this guy out looking card. Let's put it in a penny sleeve at least. Though I guess I can show it to the camera a little bit. It's not bad. I don't, I don't see any problems with it. I don't see any deformations. I don't see anything wrong with it. No scratches. No nothing. The back looks fine. Yeah. All right. Okay. Because I don't know how much this is worth. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm just going to throw it in a top loader. It's not worth that much. I'll just take it out. Better safe than sorry. Okay. side now got a bunch of packaging in there which I'll just reinsert and put that back on there it's a little loud but at least it keeps it out of my way um oops I missed this so I'll just have to put that back in there later okay so we've got a shiny Corviknight which I would love to have Shiny Toctricity, uh, the Dragapult Shiny, uh, Charizard, another Corviknight, and I'll put the Dragons together, I guess. Uh, I'll put the Corviknights together, and I'll put the Toctricities together, so I've got three little stacks here that we'll get through before we get into the Elite Trainer Box packs, see what's in there. Kind of had no idea what I was getting into here, so this is just fun for me. All right. I don't know which one I should start with. I want to do the Charizard last, so I guess I'll just go from right to left until something else happens. Uh, and I'm going to assume that these are four to the front, though. I'll take the hit on that, if that's the case. If that's not the case, I mean. And I'll uh, figure that out for us. Four to the front. Should be an energy card. It is an energy card. Again, four to the front. Let's see what that gets us. Energy card. Cramorant. It's pretty neat art. Uh, rusted shield. Kind of cool. It's got the Zamazenta on there. Uh, Team Yell Towel, kind of neato. Uh, a Yanma. Pretty cool coughing art. Uh, it's a Morpico there with a, a shuckle on the art. And it looks like a, uh, uh, I forget what that guy's called. It's a Pick a Pick Evolution. Horsey. 
spinner rack. Oh, wow. There you go. That's a good way to start. In DDV. That's a, that's a, that's a shiny hollow. It's a pretty good way to start. I guess I should look and see how much this guy is worth. Uh, but let's look at the rare. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Volcanian. Kind of cool. I'll sleeve that up too. Um, I'll leave this right there for a second while I figure out the value on the NDDV. I'm sure the Volcanian is probably worth like maybe a buck. I won't worry too much about that, but let's get an idea of the NDDV. Music shift over real quick. Slide down to the NDDV. That's an $11 card. That's an $11 card. That paid for that pack. That paid for that pack for sure. All right, let's sleeve this little one up. It's a nice card. I've actually got some really cute looking art on that. Show that again to the camera. It's a good way to start with the packs. All right. Shiny V. It's listed at 11, but the set just came out today, so I might list this at 15 or more, just because I imagine this is going to grow because it's a V and it's a shiny. Usually those appreciate in value it's pretty severely at the start of a, a release of a set. Uh, where should I put this beauty? Let's put it on this pile since that's what it belongs to. We'll see which one of the, the which pile wins, the, the Corviknight pile, the Toxicity pile, or the Dragon pile. This is Bolton. That's what I thought. I thought this is the one to open of the three. All right. Now that I know it's four to the front, I can do that without fear. Got a fire energy. A Luxio. I like that art. A Dartix. Another Rusted Shield. Is a Trap Pinch there? Yama. Oops. Skip two cards there. A little greedy. Coughing. Another Morpico. Horsey. Reverse Hollow Dartix. That could, that could have been a shiny. Oh, no complaints. Oh, dear. That's two Vs in a row. I don't think this is a shiny, though. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. I'm going to sleeve this up real quick. Actually, I'll show you guys see if there's any. Now it looks smooth. Oh, boy. That's exciting. Let's get... Let's get an idea how much that that one's worth. Okay, so that one would be in just the normal shining fades. Cause it, yeah, it would have a. Yeah. Okay. So it's just Dell's knees. Dell's knees V Max. That's another ten dollar card. That's two ten ten dollar cards in a row. Good night. All right, this is a this is a pretty stacked set though, so I'm not, you know, I'm not losing my mind necessarily over twenty bucks. But let's try to pull for that five hundred dollar cards, right? You know, let's let's go up in that range. <laughs> okay, let's be considerate to the one that protected that ten dollar card and get this uh, Dartix. Reverse hollow. That is some pretty dynamic art, though. It's like it's like chucking something. What is the move? Razor leaf. Oh, it's just a razor leaf. That's a pretty cool looking razor leaf. 
All right, let's see what the Dragon Pile's got to offer. Start with the Dragapult V, leave that Charizard there for last. Hopefully we're saving the best for last here. We'll also get an idea of which of these uh, piles in this Bolton V tin had the best, which is just, you know, more or less nonsense. It's just me kind of see, seeing what I can see. Which is also kind of a nonsense sentiment. Anyways, let's go here with the leaf. And I'm trying really hard to like look at the screen and not at the pile here because it keeps on spoiling it for me if there's a good card or not in there. But I also kind of got to look down so I can El, uh, uh, El de Goss because I don't know all these guys off the top of my head. And dyslexia makes reading backwards kind of sucky. Uh, Luxio a ball guy i'm the ball guy uh how'd you like to go on a date and be like what do you do for a job i'm a ball guy <laughs> what does that mean i dress up like a pokeball you know i guess if you're in the pokemon world that's probably pretty cool oh how'd you get that job oh the sweet eevee he's just taking a swim Taking a nice EV swim. All right, let's get this music back on. Oh no, I'm not even on the right tab. Okay. The Glossifer and... Oh, that's, that's not a shiny, but it is a reverse. I know the music's sad, it's sad for me. How could you have not got a shiny for the, the, the second time in a row? Whoa. All right, but it is a reverse hollow rare. And a professor's research, which uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not gonna pretend like this was a good pack because it, it wasn't. We're we're still pretty close to breaking even. Uh, even just three packs in, so halfway in, we're about there. I imagine that rare uh, reverse hollow is probably worth the buck. And Professor's Research is actually sell for more than I think just because they're a super useful card. And I guess people who play the game, uh, you know, they're going to put some money towards that. Oh, I should have put these guys in this pile, but it's just such kind of a nothing burger. I don't really care. All right. Last of the Corviknight packs. These are so crisp. These are so nice. This is a sad friggin' violin. Okay. We got some water, which is good. You need water to live. So hopefully this is a live pack. Uh, we've got Tropius. A Cramorant. What is this, a rusted sword to go with the Zassian? Choodle, he's chewing. Morpico. Oh, that's probably the best way that oriented. Cacnea. He got a horsey. Sweet art on that. Uh, Cutifont. I think the next one is our reverse hollow or hopefully a shiny. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, reverse Hollow Gym Trainer. Great. That's that's what we wanted, right? Ooh, not the not the Ditto we wanted. I wanted the shiny Ditto V Max, but I got a shiny Ditto. I mean, I got a Ditto V Max. Can't even speak right right now. Let's see how much that guy's worth. That could be cool. Uh, sleep up the stupid Gym Trainer. Hey, you stupid Gym Trainer. I mean. The art's pretty dynamic. It's probably worth something, if I'm being honest. Like, people people really like dynamic art. So let's see here. Uh, this is just a normal one. I'm looking for Ditto VMAX. Ditto's one of my favorite Pokemon. Oh, hey! It's not as much as the, um... 
it's it's not nearly as much as the um as the shiny did as the shiny ditto or shiny ditto v max um but that's a 12 dollar card that's the most expensive card so far that's pretty great no complaints there that's i mean we're doing big pulls and i'm i'm over the hump now so everything from here on is gravy we're making pretty decent profit so far but we've only gotten one shiny out of these so i really would like this next two packs to have shinies in them let's uh put that out into the universe let's get some good cards let's flip this also back to some music let's slip over there for me huh there we go all right part of the reason why i was a little bit late today is i uh needed to charge some stuff because i was going around town getting the stuff for today give you guys any skinny just in case I got some rivals listening in but yeah suffice it to say I got as much as I could all right there's a dark energy tropius a non foil gym trainer a rotom a ragtime uh gloss of fleur another chudel morphico Where's more Pico? Uh, Cacnea. Horsey. Oh, there's a, there's a shiny Cramorant. A shiny Cramorant. All right. And, oh. Wow, what a pack. What a friggin' pack. Rose has packed on some pounds. He's got a little daddy belly. All right, let's check these two. So let's look at the Cramorant V, I mean the Cramorant Shiny, which I'm assuming is the is the lesser of the two in, in terms of price. Uh, Cramorant, oh wow, that's a $15 card. Okay, that's a $15 card. So that means sleeve that up right friggin' now. I asked for... Two shinies in a row. So here's my first one. I just got to get one more, right? And that will be the things I asked for in this. And then we'll do the uh, Elite Trainer box. And seeing how I feel after that, we may do more, we may not. I'm feeling pretty darn good right now. I'm feeling pretty ahead. Especially since this rose. I know the the one of the... The, blah, 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 the full... Uh, the full art roses of other sets have been fairly expensive. Uh, so even before I go forward here, let's get that in sleeve. Let's see here, rose full art. Boom! That's a $22 card. All right. $22. Uh, though I, I love the art on that i wouldn't sell this for less than 30 i might even just post it for 40 just to be like i don't know if i want to sell this if i want to get this rated it's a good looking card the centering looks uh, centering looks pretty darn good i'd say this is a 10 i mean i'm saying that so it's got to be true right Okay, so it looks like right now the Toxtricity packs are in the in the lead here, and we really need something coming out of this pack to beat even the second guy in the lead here. So we got 20, 35, another 10, uh, so that's 45, wait no, it's like 20, 35, 45. Uh, this is 20. So we really got to pull something big out of here. It's like, kind of like a graduation kind of song. So we're graduating to, what, a shiny Charizard or something? Something huge. 
something humongous. We're just graduating out of this tin. Okay. I don't know, we got a lightning energy out of a Bolton. Like I feel like, I feel like it's going. I'm trying really hard just to stare at the screen and not look at the pack. Cause I keep on doing that. And if I can't read it, I'm just not gonna say it. And you just pretend like I just like, I'm just like talking past it. That's a ball guy, I know, but like, uh, I think that's Flotzel, but again, I'm not gonna worry about it. I wanna be surprised on this last one. We know it's got to be a, a, a shiny, right? We just we're just wishing it into the universe. So we got half shinies out of this, plus some really good cards, some really decent cards. We're making out like a bandit, but let's make out like Wall Street stock exchange brokers. Uh, okay, I think we got one more. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Okay, that's not great. And. The uh, hollow luxury, that's also dumb. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a I was a big big old letdown. Oh wait a minute. Wait what? I don't What the heck? Do you see that? It's got hollow bleed on all over it the whole thing is hollow that's not supposed to be like that do you, do you see that that hollow I maybe mean, put it more in the light maybe you can see it better it's it's like i was like what is this that i'm seeing on the card here it's almost like an amazing rare accidentally like how do i show that better yeah, you can kind of see it like that. Like that's way more reflective than that should be. It's like, look at look at this by comparison. It's it's almost as vibrant as that. Yeah, it's that's wow. That is a crazy. Oh, and it's onto the it's onto the outsides of it. It's onto the out. It's onto the edging. What the heck? That is a. Not so misprint. Whoo! Wow. So I mean, in the right hands, that's probably that's probably worth a lot to the right collector. Holy Hannah! That I've never even seen anything like that. Yeah, that's crazy. That's a full card hollow bleed. Only on my stream, guys. That's how that's how it goes. Just make sure you're make sure you're locked and loaded. Unless this is, turns out to be some sort of common misprint, and then I'll be I'll be sad. But I'm gonna look this up later. I doubt this is something easily looked into. But yeah, you can even see it. Yeah, you can even. See, it's just like if I just pulled it right, you can even see it through the top loader. It's, yeah, it's nuts. That is a gorgeous card because of that air. Honestly, I wouldn't sell this for less than a couple hundred bucks. Oh, wow. What a what a find. What a find. Forgot to put that Morphico away. Even though it's, in and of itself, it's probably worth 3 to $5, at least eventually, because it's a yeah, Pikachu style. Um... Uh, reverse hollow and the art's really funny you got that schnubble really mad it's crying it's crying why would you why would you make a schnubble cry okay so total from this uh, I'm not counting some of this stuff let's, I, know, I guess we'll just count that stuff just for fun I'll assume this bowl tens only worth like five ten bucks uh, let's just say five bucks so let's make that ten bucks uh, 20, 30, uh, I don't know about the Luxray. Uh, uh, 30, 50, 65, 75, plus a, a, a misprint hollow. I'm just going to go ahead and call round that up to 200 because I'm not selling this for, for for more than a couple hundred, like I said. So I say 130, that's probably fine. Uh, I, I'm very certain this isn't intentional because like i said i can see it bleeding into 
the actual edges of the card. This is very clearly a misprint. Uh, and unless it's something common, uh, I, I think it makes the card look really vibrant, especially with that yellow. I think the right collector is going to want that for a lot. Or will at least buy it for a lot. Maybe they'll, I mean, they'll want it for, for a little, but I'm going to give it to them for a lot because I, I have that uh, advantage of having the weird card that nobody else is going to have. All right, so let's move on to the big boy. Perfect music. Uh, these are selling online for about double what the MSRP. So I'm not sure about opening the other two. Uh, I am moving soon. Uh, a couple hundred bucks might be a good uh, injection in the arm here. But I did also just make more than double plus a misprint card that who knows how many of those misprints exist. I've, I've literally never heard of that uh, happening. So unless it's established as like a new thing. And because the set did just come out today, I might be able to like jump on something like that ungraded and sell it for quite a bit. So those are things like that to consider. But uh, I am going to open up one more Elite Trainer box, uh, depending on how that leaves me feeling. And right now, I'm I'm just freaking ecstatic. I don't want to open this Elite Trainer box right now just because that, that misprint right there. <sighs> wow. I mean, like, it's, it's got me a little bit shook. <laughs> But I did open it, because I said I would. I might save some pack openings for uh, YouTube. There's a whole new way of doing that, apparently. That's really affected my YouTube channel in a good way. So I kind of want to be on top of that. Uh, but I also want to make sure I'm doing at least uh, small openings, if not huge openings, every Friday. And I don't think that that should have to stop anytime soon. Uh... So it might slow down with the move. I might have to skip a week or two just because I might be moving. And I might make my Friday thing into a, another kind of thing. It's pretty neat. I like this. Uh, oh, I guess that's the promo. It's an Eevee. Uh, the inside of it's got some cool art. So if you wanted to, you could like tear that apart and like put it on your room or something. I think that's what it's supposed to be. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Uh, okay. Also comes with the player's guide, like all these do. Um, okay. Should come with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs. Perfect. Um. Here is the EV VMAX. I don't know how much this is worth, but usually the promos are worth quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and be proactive about that and uh, put this beauty in a top loader. I see a lot of people selling these online in um, in these like, oh, it's like it's 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 mint, it's fresh, and it's like no, you're you're leaving it to get scratched. That's what you're doing. Like it, it was a lot more protected when it was in the darn thing. But the second you take it out, it's it's no longer protected. It's it's now unprotected. That's, that's kind of the point. You took you took it out. Now it doesn't have a bunch of soft things surrounding it, keeping it from getting tussled. In fact, like it, it's not in there very tight at all. So it's it's sliding up and down, up and down, up and down. You'd be causing like all sorts of preventable damage. In fact, I'm going to try to keep it oriented the way where it's, yeah, it's farthest down. Let gravity help me out here. Uh, that way I'm not risking tearing it. And then I can just unseal it like that. All right. I don't know how much that I got on camera. I was kind of like hyper-focused on keeping this safe. I, I pulled a card probably worth a hundred or two, and I'm just like, oh, this $5 card or whatever, I better take care of it. Of course, I'll look it up and it'll be like $20, so that's why I'm always super careful with every card. You know, treat treat your your five-cent cards with, I mean, maybe, maybe not put them in, in top loaders, but treat your five-cent cards with the level of respect and integrity that you would your $50, your $100 cards, and you'll be in, like, a lot better stead in the future because that card might go up in value. You really never know. 
Uh, at the same time, you know, if you got cards that are worth thousands of dollars, maybe treat those a little bit differently. Maybe put those cards under some insurance or something. I love these, the color of these dye. I might take these out and use these. Where's the uh, the top of these? What do they got on it? It's got the... Uh... <laughs> squeak, 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 squeak. Uh, I'll just... Here. It's got a little symbol there. It's kind of cool. Uh, this over. Yeah. Deal with it later. I don't know about anybody watching the stream right now, but I'm gonna make some dinner in a little bit, and perhaps during, but certainly with dinner, I am having a drink. Got some physical labor I'm doing tomorrow, so I definitely wanna make sure I don't drink too much. Don't wanna be hungover for work, but it'll be nice to have a little tipple, get a little bit chilly. Okay, so we got three Corviknight packs, three Truxtricity, Truxtricity, Truxtricity packs, two uh, Charizard packs, and two Dragapult V packs. So, hmm, Truxtricity did really good for us last time. Um, let's go ahead and front load those. Maybe those will be the best. It's gonna be funny. Just putting them in the front. Alright. Got a sleeping kitty cat near me. Snoring her heart out. Did you wake up, Duke? Different cat. Alright. Let's see what the Elite Trainer Box has got in store for us. See if it can match the excitement, the amazement, the constantly making kashish that the tin gave us, the Bolton tin, the one I thought was good. We've got a fire energy. Got another gym trainers. Hey, gym trainers, it sounds funny to say. Flotsel. Oh my gosh, I'm trying not to hurt the packs. Okay, Flotzel. Did I take two cards? No, they're just thick. Uh, Team Yell Towel. Is that a towel? It doesn't want to look like a towel. It looks like a banner. Um, Buzel. Maybe it is a banner, and that's just how they translated it. Yanma. Trapinch. A Shinx. Pretty sweet art. Rowlet, uh, is this the, this is our boy, or do we have one more? No, that's our boy, unfortunately. Reverse hollow of what you call it. And what do we got? Uh, boss's orders, great. That needs a haircut. Who am I to say, though? It's kind of cool. It's a kind of cool hair. Looks like a LT gray. I'm just mad that I didn't get a shiny out of that pack, let's be honest. Let's be honest with your, with ourselves and each other. We're upset we didn't get a better card. Uh, this Elder Gloss. It looks like it's got a disco ball for a head. All right. Guess this Corviknight pack wants to fight us. That's what this song's telling me. Gonna have to win this Pokemon battle until we get a legendary or something, right? All right. Four to the front. Start out with. It is a fight because we've got Fighting Energy. Followed by a Rotom. Got a Rusted Shield. Trap Inch, a Nicket, a Glass of Fleur, this little cutie, a Cacnea, a Cufant, oh, Shiny Bolton, 
non-promo. Am I a little stunned, actually? <laughs> Sweet. Okay. And for the rear, not as exciting, Gridna. Oh, wow. That Bolton. Or maybe that's just how it's supposed to be in this set. Maybe they're all, maybe they're all just shiny hollow. Because this guy looks shiny hollow, too, on the edges. Maybe I was wrong about that. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find some more cards because this guy's got the same same hollow bleed issue going on there Sp Speaking smoke from my butt instead of knowing what's going on. That's yeah, that's 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 pretty par for the course Don't be surprised by that All right, Let's see if we can find In this pile we already have here And the other Hollow foil, rare. Nah, we gotta we gotta find more hollow foil rare yellers. There's more hollow foil rares in general, and maybe it's just a, maybe that's just how they wanted this set to look. It, it's really sweet looking. Uh, I really like it. Okay, let's put the Bolton on the question block here. Bolton, what is your value? Oops, I just hit refresh on the YouTube studio there, where I get all my free music. <laughs> all right, well, I'm still going to look at the price of that. That's going to load in for a second. Uh, Bolton. Oh, hey, that's a $12 card. We're on pretty good pacing here. I'm gonna have to set up a new thing to listen to since we're in a good mood now I'm not kind of nearly as uh, I don't know I don't know how I felt to begin with kind of felt like uh, what's gonna happen is gonna happen but honestly I've been doing pretty good so should, I wonder if I should go this way now so this guy, these guys don't get kind of burnt out. Or maybe I should go that way because I do want to end on a Charizard. So go this way and then that way. Best of both worlds. Charizard pack, what have you in store? Hopefully a Charizard. I would like that to be the case. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four to the front. We got a lightning energy here. We got a Rotom. We got a rusted shield. Flotzel. EB. Morpico. Blitzel. Nicket. Gagnet. Uh, what, is, what is this? A, a snom? It's a snom. It's a reverse hollow snom. It looks like a butt. Looks like a butt face. I got a reverse hollow butt. Oh, what? This is the card I wanted from this set. This is legitimately the card I wanted from this set. Ooh, wow. Okay, okay. About to have an aneurysm here. Let's chill out for a second. Oh, God. That's a big card. I'm pretty sure that's a $70 card. So like I said earlier, people really, really like the full art cards, and they really like cute girls, I guess. Uh, I mean, who doesn't like cute girls? Except for people who don't like cute girls, I guess. Uh, yeah, and that's that's a pretty looking card. I'm probably gonna have to get this graded rather than sell it outright. Um, but let's see what it's worth ungraded. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the card in a top loader though, because I do know that older versions of Skyla 
the, the art isn't as good, honestly. This is really good art. Like, I'm gonna get it close to the camera here and show you like the illustration on the face. Like, those eyes and lips are super like well drawn and the hair's got a lot of detail in it. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people will be talking about her boobs, but it's not all about the boobs, folks. It's only half about the boobs. That part was a joke. Skyla full art. Holy son of that's a hundred dollar card. Gah. Gee. Yeah. <coughs> 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 that's a hundred dollar card. Ungraded. It's a hundred dollar card. Good. Great googly moogly. Oh, uh, $100, $100 card. Okay. I got to get this graded. That's, that's nuts. That's nuts. Good night. I need to take a second, guys. Give me, give me a bit to get some water in there. I'm going to puke. Oh, holy Hannah. Good night. Okay, moving on, moving on. That's a $100 card, but what about a $200 card, right? Uh, let's just get really super greedy. Let's just get insanely, obscenely greedy and, and get more than a hundred dollar card in this elite trainer box. Let's do it, let's do it. And I'm gonna try not to look at the things cause that was a good reveal for me. I didn't see that in the thing cause I was being really fastidious about just trying to look, make sure that we're all set up here and not look. Tropius, Luxio, Gym Trainer, Bluezeal, uh, Spinarak, Shinx, Coffee. I think the next one is our uh, potential shiny. Ooh, boom! That's a big card. That is a rare hollow shiny. Nice. Okay, what do we got here in the last card? Uh, just a, just a Zard. No big deal. But that's a big card. Let's see what we got. Oh, and it came from a... a uh, oh, it's not even a, a Zard V. It's a, it's a dark, low... Dark... Dark low? Loak? <laughs> Obviously, I know all the Pokemon. <laughs> there's, there's no dearth in my Pokemon knowledge. Not some great amount of things that I, I don't know because I didn't play the earlier, like... Well, I played the earlier games, but I didn't play the later sets. Oh, maybe it is supposed to bleed in there because this this is a reverse hollow and it's just kind of speckly. I guess that's, that's just what they did in this set. It is going to increase the value of the set overall. So while I was like, bleh, bleh, oh my god, it's... It's totally like a misprint. It's not, but it is totally a, a sweet thing that they did for the set. So feel free to clip me being stupid. That's that's not hard. Uh, so, oh, holy heck, the dra the Dracloak is the Dracloak. Maybe that's how you pronounce it. Is actually worth more than the Dragapult. It's thirteen bucks as opposed to ten. Oh, moo. My God. We're doing pretty good. Oh, man. I'm getting a headache. <laughs> I, uh, uh, I'm losing my mind here. Okay. Let's keep her going. Let's keep her going. And if you are not here watching this live, you are missing out. I gotta tell you, this has been 
one of the funner openings I've ever done. Uh, not just because I'm making a consistent amount of pro of uh, not progress of profit, maybe getting that burp, which uh, I am. I'm doing pretty darn good. It's just been a lot of really good cards and a lot of like, oh wow, I did not I did not expect that. That's super surprising, and uh, yay. <laughs> Scoot things a little forward so I can get in my sleeve. Okay. Green energy. Ball guy. Team yell. Uh, something guy. <laughs> Flaky something. Uh, boozle. Nicket. Cacnea. Uh, Cuda font. Eevee. What do we got here? Uh, reverse hollow uh, Indeedee. To go with our uh, uh, shiny, I guess. And then another boss's order. <laughs> kind of lame. Kind of a lame pack. Not that good. Not that good. The boss's orders, it's kind of grown on me. I mean, his hair is a little bit like my hair. And my beard is pretty long right now. Uh, it's, it's pretty huge, if I'm being accurate. But I did trim off the sides of my face. Uh, so I didn't have mutton chops. So they were getting pretty choppy. The waters were getting choppy on my face. All right, Toctricity, we're back to you. Let's see what we get. Out of potentially the last five packs I'm opening tonight, I don't know how long I've been going. Uh, about an hour? Yeah, so I'm, these might be the last. I don't know. Uh, it really depends on how, how up or low I am, how much I can stand to handle. I've been getting like beat over the head with really good pulls. I don't feel like I'm chasing anything. I feel like things are just working out. That's a good feeling. It's a good feeling, honestly. Uh, I'm just tired. So, therefore, overwhelmed by all of the good news. Okay. Electricity. Tropius. Ball guy. Team Yell. Shinx. Grookey. Trapinch. Yanma. Coffee. Uh, reverse holotropius. Yay. Hooray. That's definitely what I wanted. Oh, but that is something I want. Wow. That's a Cinderace VMAX. That's a big card. That's a big card. And what's it's uh, 72? So it's, I don't think it's like a secret or anything like that, but that's a big card. Let's get a price on that once I get these two cleaned up. We've got uh, some work coming out of the Toxtricity packs. First one wasn't super good, but this one's pretty great. Back looks clean. Let's get a price on that Cinderace VMAX. Part of what's been slowing me down this stream is obviously that I've been looking at the price of all the big cards, but I keep on pulling big cards, so it's like, I kind of want to know. That's a $13 card. Oh, wow, $13 card. Wow, okay. <laughs> so better put that in a top loader then. And like I said earlier, uh, I think it's it's good for me to get kind of an advanced price on these rather than the price that they say just because they're gonna fluctuate up. They're gonna fluctuate up. Okay, so last of the Toxtricity packs. I might have to quit after these just because my voice is starting to go <clears throat> it's like that morpheus thing where he answers neo and he was like why do my eyes hurt and morpheus is like you've never used them like all week i have not been talking so maybe it's because my voice is just like not used i don't think that that works like that but i don't want to acknowledge that i might be sick because i gotta work tomorrow i gotta make money tomorrow right how else are we gonna pay for more Pokemon packs? I'm I'm joking. I 
I pay mostly for Pokemon packs with money I made from other Pokemon packs, essentially. But uh, when you're in between getting money from that, sometimes it helps to have a little bit of Kashish to help you reinvest. Okay, last Toxtricity pack. What do we got here? We got a Steel Energy, Fultzel, Team Yell, Towel, Rotom, got a Nicket, Eevee, Colossal Fleur, Chudo, Morpico, uh, Reverse Hollow, Blue Soul, yay. Oh, uh, well, okay. A Cramorant V. It's probably not worth that much, but I might as well look it up. Uh, wait, is it full art? Oh, hey, I think it is full art. Because it's seven, it's, oh, wait, no. I misread that. Gosh darn dyslexia. Uh, it's, it's 52, 54 of 72. <laughs> so I'm like blaming dyslexia on me reversing the two whole sets of numbers. I reversed the partial numbers on them. It's like, yeah, a dyslexia. Here's some more dyslexia for your dyslexia. You want some dyslexia to go with that dyslexia? Uh, do I have this on the right thing? No, this is a shiny wall. That's not a shiny at all. It's a Cramorant V. Cramorant V. That's just a $2 card. So, eh, it's, it's really the uh, Cinderace here that's the, the big winner out of that pile. <clears throat> Let's see what we got from our last Corviknight. Corviknight, baby. Toxicity was the winner last time, but it's looking like right now Charizard is going to be the winner. Kind of way ahead there with a hundred bucks. See if we can catch him up. All right, last of the Corviknights. What do we got here? Tinio. Photon. Shield. Cagnia. Get the music back on. Cute font. Goozle. Spinarak. Shinx. Woo! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, that's when I wanted really bad. That's when I wanted really bad. Oh, and uh, and a hollow um, uh, in DD, and it does have that uh, hollow going through it. Holy monkey! Holy cow! Okay, I gotta be, I gotta be careful. Slide that over there for a second. Get this. That's that's the second big pull of the night, and it's got me like, oh, uh, should I just keep opening packs? Well, let's let's I guess let's see what happens with this uh, last two. Oh, because this is a card I wanted just for me. Actually, I don't think this is a card I'll be selling. That Skyla, I gotta sell that because people want that Booba, Booba. But uh, I love Ditto, and now I've got a Ditto V Max. Uh, shiny and non-shiny. Wait, I do have that, right? Am I not misremembering? No, I'm not misremembering. I do have both. Oh, booyah! Sweet. Let's see how much this guy's worth. That is awesome. I am stoked on that. That is a freaking sweet-looking card. And it's just a card I wanted, just for me, like I said. So Ditto V Max Shiny. That is a $60 card. Boom. Oh man. Yeah, I made I've made more than I would have been able to sell this thing for. For sure. So I don't I don't feel any incentive to sell any of these. All the things that I bought, I feel like I should just keep. And uh I mean, this is a nut set. This is so far, and I still got two packs to open. Let's let's do them. Let's do the last two packs. I think I'm gonna open tonight. Um, 
I may increase the frequency with opening these. It really depends. Um, and a lot of these I'm going to try to flip quick so I can get more money to buy more packs to open more. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm potentially going to be trying to take advantage of some YouTube algorithm stuff and uh, doing stuff like opening up like one pack real quick for YouTube and do stuff like that. Uh, Cause it seems to be helping my channel there a little bit and I'm still pretty much a baby here on Twitch. So I, I, I think I got to think about like using the resources I have, the, the cards uh, in the, in the best way possible. So anybody watching here, make sure you check out my YouTube channel. Um, same name, Cam Captcha. Uh, I've been doing a little bit more Pokemon Go recently, but um, I guess I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. There's a big event for that going on. But uh, I'm honestly doing a lot more of this lately. Uh, just cards in general. Just because it's been more fun for me. Um, in Pokemon Go, it, it requires more people. And they've just kind of barely caught up with getting that a thing again. Uh, that's cool and everything. But uh, uh, I, I, I guess I did buy into the event that's happening tomorrow. Sorry, I'm getting the music back on. If I can use my fingers. Um, I did buy into the event tomorrow. Um, but, uh, it, you know, I, I haven't spent more more than that. I did that in, like, December. So, yeah. It, it's, it's been pretty slow for Pokemon Go for me. But it's still a fun game. And... Uh, oh, hey! I have this. I have this. I have a, I have a, 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 sh a shiny uh, Greedent. On the actual game. So I might just keep this. But we'll see how much this is worth in a second. What do we got for a rare? Uh, another dr another Dreadnought. All right, we're doing really well on shinies tonight, though. I got the, the, the big shiny I was looking for. The Ditto V Max. I got the uh, the full art I was looking for from Skyla uh, because that's a, you know I knew that was a card going to be worth a lot, and uh, just like my beauty full art from um, from uh, from Vivid Voltage, I knew it was going to be a card that's going to accrue value. Okay, so greed dent. It's going to be in the G's, obviously. That's a ten dollar card. This is a nutso set. This is a nutso set. I must put it into another penny loader. That's how I'm just like way out of it. I've, I didn't know it was $10. I'm probably going to sell it now. Um, it's got really good, very dynamic art. When I caught, when I finally got the Squabbit, I had been going after that Squabbit for like almost a month. I was so stoked. And I just love how happy Greedent is. You're like, oh, look at my big fat belly. It's like a little Snorlax. I love it. It's got very much Snorlax energy. Okay, last pack of the night. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling wonderful. <laughs> it's a little bit of a what about Bob quote there. Any Bill Murray fans out there? Kind of a deep cut, I guess. All right. Charizard packs. Don't let me down. Let's get me a Charizard. I got that Charizard luck. I know I do. Let's see what the last song is. What do the fates decide? Oh, this song's called Rewind. It's a dance electronic song. So let's dance on some Charizards, right? Charizard! Alright. Placky. Tropius. Jim Trainer. Morpico, Horsey, Spinnerack, <laughs> Rowlet, another, wait, is that two Morpicos in one pack? I'm, I'm probably just misremembering. Ah, uh, uh, Reverse Hollow Shinx, darn it. Oh, hey, Crobat V. No, whatever. <laughs> Kind of, kind of a letdown, really, when you look at everything else we've got. Though I'll price that out just to kind of get an idea of, of what we got from this. Which wasn't bad, actually. We didn't do bad at all. 
I mean, let's be let's be perfectly honest. We did pretty darn good today. Uh, okay. Crobat V, what are you worth? You would be over here on the non shiners. That's a seven dollar card. Wow. So never mind. Basically every pack I open was profit. Um I don't know what this EV is worth. I gotta flip back over to the music. I know this song's about to end. I've heard it a bunch of times. Um okay, so let's get well this pile obviously won. This pile got second place. Uh so Corviknight got second place and Charizard packs won with just one. Um and it looks like the uh dragapult got third place so we'll, we'll go from smallest to biggest here this was a this was like a what a five dollar card a six dollar card i can't remember um i guess i could just look it up real quick uh yeah because it's just right there it was a, it's a two dollar card <laughs> okay i'm just so used to the bigger numbers honestly um that plus this will say that's all total about five bucks. Uh, plus the Cinderace, which I think was like 13 bucks. So that's like uh, 18. Um, this Indeedity, I doubt it's worth more than like 50 cents. Uh, plus these other, no, I got two Indeedies, I probably put them close together. Um, the, this guy was 13 bucks if I remember right. Um, make this 15, uh, plus 18, plus the, what was this guy worth, 70? Uh, that was worth 60. So, that makes this about, let's just make this 70. No, this is like 30, uh, it's like, no, 70 plus, it's like 90. Uh. 100, 113, um, it's like a six dollar card. I guess I better put this in the top loader. Um, it's like one, yeah, I could, I could, I could, I can actually do it. That's how much I need to make dinner right now, guys. Carne asada, I'm gonna make some fajitas. Uh, so it's 122 plus another 100. That's, that's 222 coming out of this box. Uh, I couldn't have sold the box for more than that. Um, and I think if I remember right, this this pile, uh, before I freaked out about this stupid Luxray, uh, was sitting around um, 70 bucks. So that's like 300 or so out of uh, MSRP, about 80 bucks. So I think I did pretty good today. Uh, I don't see myself selling any of these tins or these Elite Trainer box. I feel like opening them is probably just the financial more prudent move. Uh, but, you know, obviously I'm going to make that decision for myself. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I'm super stoked on how well I did today. The biggest ones um, clearly being uh, the two cards that I wanted <laughs> from this set. Uh, I mean, obviously I want the biggest cards so I can sell them, but these are cards I wanted for me. And yeah, when I say cards for me, someday I may sell them depending on my needs and stuff. But when I say card for me, I'm really thinking like a card that I'll do as far as like long-term investment. I want to I wanna get these two graded for sure. I want a graded uh, Ditto VMAX and it's great. It's a good looking card. The centering on it, is, it's not as good as the Skyla. But it's still really good. Uh, <laughs> and I've caught, uh, if I, if I want to sell some stuff, the Rose is good i love his little pot belly that they go on there and the ditto v max those are both good to sell um so we did really well today um i'm 
just happy you can uh, join me. And like I said a couple times now, uh, join me on YouTube. I'm going to be uh, opening up packs there probably just really quickly, see if that changes stuff at all. I know there's a whole algorithm thing there. Um, I'll probably just dip into one of these uh, tins for that. I'll probably hold on to these Elite Trainer Box openings for stream, but it all depends on what I have um, available. I I'm going to try to do some uh, looking into stores tomorrow, see if anything's left if, or if there's anything out because I couldn't find anything today. But uh, Just one real quick note. Uh, I mentioned last time I really love it when they're the uh, the the number of the number of whatever and this is 72 of 72 i don't know if i'm showing that if it can even be seen right but this is number 72 of 72 uh and i think that may in part be why the price but also it's it's a pretty girl or you know that's that's always going to make people want to spend money on it <laughs> anyways uh this was great i got two cards i really really wanted i'm just gonna hold on to them for a little bit um pretend potentially get them graded but I got a bunch of stuff to sell. I made a huge profit today. I'm stoked on that. Um, and yeah, have a good evening. I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, you know where to find me. Uh, though I think I am, just one last note, I think I'm probably going to switch from 7 to 7.30 because that gives me a little bit more time to like do a little bit of carousing around town to try to find more packs to open. That That's definitely something that I need to do. Uh there's no getting around that. So seven's just a little bit too tight for me. So I think I'm going to try to go for uh, 7.15, 7.30. But don't be surprised if I pop up by 7. That's how committed I am. <laughs> yeah, once a week, but inconsistent from 7 to 7.30. Uh, but I'll be here. I'll be opening packs. And I'll be excited as ever. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Have a good evening or morning wherever you're at. And I'll see you next time. Till then.